We'll keep things moving. You know, thanks everyone. You know, it's a wonderful thing to know Jesus, isn't it? If you think it's wonderful to know Jesus, say amen. 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 You know, our God is coming back soon. Did you know that? When we read our Bibles, we see the signs of it all the time. And I'm thankful for everybody here today. But it's a little bit like Noah's Ark, isn't it? Compared, you know, we've got more people than Noah had, praise the Lord. He preached for 120 years, he got up to eight. Praise the Lord for the hundred or more people we have here today. But when we think about everybody who's not in church this weekend, not in church this Sabbath, we know that there's a lot we've got to do, amen? And as badly as I want Jesus to come back this afternoon, you know, I won't have to mow my lawn tomorrow. There'll be a lot of (laughs) jobs I don't have to worry about anymore. But I don't want him to come back. Am I allowed to say that? I am allowed to say that. Why don't I want him to come back just yet? Because I haven't mowed the lawns. That's not it, Jenny. (laughs) The reason I don't want Jesus to come back just yet is because I've got people I love who don't know him yet. And if Jesus was to come back right now, they wouldn't be coming up with us. And that's the very reason why Jesus isn't coming back right now. Because he knows that if he came back right now, there are some people who are still yet to be saved who would miss out. So friends, we've got a work to do, and it's not just us three congregations. It's not just the city of Christchurch. It's not even just the whole South Island of New Zealand. It's God's children and his spirit working in us all around the earth. Amen? And it's a privilege to be part of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And as we gather together this Sabbath, and we know as the sun comes up, as the earth earth turns around, there's going to be 20 million Seventh-day Adventists, people meeting in Adventist churches all around the world. Can I hear a praise the Lord? And that's a wonderful thing. And so today it's a privilege to have our conference president here, Pastor Damien, who's going to share with us the vision and direction and an inspirational message on how God wants to use us. And as we meet together as a, we have a service now and we have our afternoon meeting, we're going to hear about what God is doing with us as a conference and what God wants to do in our own hearts. And friends, maybe today you're here, but you know that you haven't, you haven't really been putting Jesus first. Maybe you never have or maybe you've drifted away from him. And I'm thankful that you're here today. And I don't think it's a coincidence that you're here. I know that Jesus has got a plan for your life. He loves you. He, he, wants you, he wants you back. He wants you to choose him. And he's got a plan for all of us. Let's open our hearts to him this morning as, um, as Pastor Damien comes up and shares his word. I believe he's got a great message to share with us this morning. Let's get ready our hearts for the, for the word of God to be.